So I think we'll work on this leaf, and that's a much redder leaf. So I'm gonna mix up some. This time we're gonna use Quinacridone Magenta and Pyrrole Red, and just mix it all in there together to get a really much brighter red. There. So, we're gonna go wet this first. So let's get in here. And wet our, and if you have a little bit of um, that mixture on your brush, that's no problem. And this is fairly solid down here. And there is a bit of a, a light edge on this, so we want to try to keep that. We really want to keep these yellow veins as well. So we'll try to paint around those. And I'm gonna let that dry. Now that is much redder and much darker over there. So we will build this edge up gradually. Not while it's quite so wet though. Pull that back some into that veining. And there's a bit more color down here. And a bit more color here, there, there, over in here. So let's try to just put those in that way since the yellow is not really showing up. It's a bit wet right now. I'll we'll have to let it dry a bit. Let's take that off the page. Always working in the form of the actual leaf. You can see that's much darker right there. And our center right there needs to be pulled out. We'll just get the illusion of the veins right now. We'll put those in later. I'm going to let that dry, then I'm going to do this one. So we will wet this. And actually, I think I am going to model that some, because that looks much better done like that. And that's just with a paper towel. And I think that's probably what we need to do for each one of these actually is to um... now if I wanted a di something different you could do if you did not want to use a brush and you wanted to get the same modeled effect you can actually take a sea sponge and wet it like this and dab it in your paint. I don't have quite enough paint on here to do this, but that actually gives you quite a nice little modeled look, which you might like better. But we need to mix up a little more paint. 
The key thing is to get the texture. That actually works very well. I'll we'll actually put some back in here too. Okay, and over here as well. Okay, let's get our sponge out. I like that. Okay, let's clean that sponge off. Let's let this dry and we'll actually do that again. And if you want to like to um, show these veins up better, you can go back when this is totally dry and lift it out with a thirsty brush. But what I'm going to do right now is mix up some more of our red mixture. And actually, I'm going to do that off camera and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I have mixed, mixed up the pyro red, the quinacridone magenta, and a tiny bit of burnt sienna. And I'm going to take this sponge and make it small so I can control it and just dip it in there and see what happens here. And try to make it in the same direction that the uh, other leaf, uh, that the, the shape of the leaves come. So working my way toward the center. And then from here, I'm just making definite marks. That is very pretty, very pretty. Really like that. And I'm gonna go in here with this one, do the same thing. Okay, we're back. And I have mixed up the dark veining colors for um, some of these dark veins here. And basically, I have taken um, quinacridone magenta, pyrrole red, burnt sienna, and a little ultramarine to get this kind of muted um, uh, mahogany color. And I've mixed up our green for the darker, bluier veins over here. So I did that with um, a little bit of phthalo blue with uh, nickel azo, and just tweaked that with a little maybe ultramarine until I got that color. So a lot of these you just have to kind of play with until you get what you want. And it's better when you do this veins to do them um, broken, I think. They look a lot more natural. This is a script liner that I'm using here because it just uh, does a better job, I think, of, and you don't want to overdo this because it's, it's easy to do, but I did want to get some emphasis on these veins. Make these look a little bit more believable. You can just follow your reference photo. This is actually another leaf coming over on top here. So there's a little space here underneath this. I'm going to put that there just to give that emphasis and then I'm going to soften that just the bottom of it get that bead of water off my just going to come back in and soften this edge right here so we don't have a hard edge and we just have that little tiniest line right there that's what we really want there all right this could even be a little redder, this mixture that I have here. And um, this very edge is quite dark right here. So, I'll kind of emphasize that a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit more red to this. And that's pyrrole red. So 
like this is a little too brown. And really at the very base up here, that's pretty much um, yellow. So we'll try to drop some yellow in there. Yellow is an opaque color, so it is possible to drop that in sometimes. some little squiggly lines in here. These leaves have just incredible texture. They're just really fun. Okay, and I will just lightly continue that so that makes sense. You can also do this wet with a credit card but that scores your paper, and I don't really care for that. I'm going to go in and put there. There's actually a vein here, but underneath that vein, there is a red line. So, for definition's sake, we'll put a little veining in here. This is my favorite script liner. It's a uh, Robert Simmons. It's called a E50 script. It's a number three. And it's just the one I always, I have other ones, but this is always the one I tend to use for some reason. And sometimes if you can't see the veins, as long as you can figure out where the veining should be, you can pretty much just put it in there like that. That seems kind of severe to me, so I think I will soften that a little bit. I'm going to take my number two and just soften that edge a little bit. Since that's lighter underneath, we will just go along here and see if we can't soften that. Need a clean brush to do that. just to make it a little more believable. Scrub it back a little bit. These tiny brushes want to collect water on the ferrule for some reason. You have to really watch that. Okay, we'll just spread some of those out a little bit. You can just go back in and soften them just with clean water so you don't have such hard, hard edges there. Because you have a mottled leaf, you can get away with this. If this was a smooth petal, you couldn't do this. But just softening it just adds to the effect of it. And then we'll go back in and do that up here as well, because these are really hard. And that's what happens when you go in, um, when your paper's dry. You get a really hard, defined edge. A lot of times harder than you want. And I wouldn't soften it everywhere, just some places. This one actually has a green, has that green in it. It's a bit of a softer green, so let's see if we can add just a lime green to some of this. Make that a little more believable. better. 